a huge feat for Denmark to win a gold medal, but also beat one of the best ever in Tatunashvili. Exactly, and uh, Mark and uh, Tatunashvili, they actually met a couple of times, um, but Mark never got the gold medal at the World Championship. But now we can see typical Tatunashvili stand, very low with the chest, small arms, grabbing the wrist, just like a little bit in, a little bit out. He knows what he's doing right here. And then Bisotanov, a little shorter, but in his stance, looks taller because Tatunashvili, is, is, it does change his level so well. Exactly. And it's very dangerous with Tatunashvili, those level changing, because suddenly he will come with a very good attack. So Bisotanov inside reaching there to the inside of his wrist on the left side, and a beautiful feet to back. Arm throw by the Tunashvili. Just like that, you said it. It's so explosive. Exactly. And captured the wrist, captured the hook, put his feet through and popped his hips for four points, feet to back. Zurabi, yeah, the Tunashvili. Excellent throw. And it was like Tupel, he will, get, he will like to get the underhook and that's when I really know this. So he get him inside and he just throw it. He timed it perfectly Perfect. as, as Bisotanov was reaching deep in that underhook. Exactly. Pushed in just enough. And it was kind of the, the, the point of no return. He couldn't pull the arm out in time yeah. to not give up the throw. So four to zero for Zurabi Datunashvili. But now we can see Turpal, he also wants to set the pace now. Now he wants to do something because now he's behind with four points. It's a lot in the final. It's a lot in the final, especially against a, a, a wrestler with the credentials of Datunashvili. But nothing is impossible in this sport. We've seen it time and time again, yes. especially with a young wrestler who, in a lot of ways, doesn't have anything to lose. Exactly. The pressure is actually not on him this time. And Bisotanov controlling the center right now, but Datunashvili of Serbia not giving up ground. He's very tight with the arms. So he don't allow Tupilk to get under unless he wants to an arm throw again. Right. And it's, he, he baited him enough where he said, you're not going to get this underhook, and then he just gave a little bit and exactly. right away went for that arm throw. Very experienced move. Yeah. Those are some... And he's not old by any means, but no, some of those no, no. old man tricks, as we like to call them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's, we, we, we talk in, in our room about smart work as opposed to hard work. He has that position where he just stays in smart position and takes a risk only when he needs to. And now the coach will say, he looks good all day. He got good in the weight and everything. Cutting weight was not a problem, so he had a lot of energy. So now he just he needs to show himself, the world, the coaches. He can be at this stage also against a world medalist as starts from Australia. So back to action as the flags wave around Stark Arena in the red, blue, and white with the seal of Serbia. Lots of young fans watching their idols and their wrestler like Zurabi Datunashvili. Datunashvili, in starting this second period, doesn't take his foot off the gas and continues to have good solid pressure. Exactly. Both of, both of the wrestler wants to control right now because we need one to get down and everybody, both of them are fighting right now very much. But that's from us, really, he's doing a great job controlling also. And now in just a moment, we might see our official tell Datunashvili to close that gap and get his hindquarters back in. And you see the hand come up. Yeah. He said, Zurabi, you need to get working. He's pointing at the red wrestler and saying head up. And there it is with the first passivity call against Datunashvili. One point on the on the board for Turpal Bisoltanov. Serbian coach shakes his head. But actually, good work of uh, Bisoltanov because it's hard to get the other one down if you make point in standing position. Especially a big four points. Yeah. 
I think it was a good call because his he was his hips were back. He wasn't chest to chest, and and he was just doing enough. But at a point, Tatunishvili is a warrior down yeah. in the bottom here as he inchworms his way forward, brings his hips up, and then jumps forward and doesn't give the position. Typical Tatunashvili defense. It's so so high level he just know how to uh, control those hips and he sits at this awkward position even though Bisutalan, he's a great lifter he cannot start because this position it just it owns him he's so good at this that's not really and he brings his hips up just enough and then hops just enough forward where he's not fleeing the hold and he's putting enough weight on the hands where you can't get a lift exactly explosive forward and just uh, getting out of the balance for the opponents so they have to start all over again and sometimes the length of, of, a, of a man like Zorabi Datunashvili makes it difficult to get a good lift because he has the leverage that Bisotanov doesn't. Yeah. yeah. So back to the hands, Datunashvili circles his way out of danger. The two of them, they met one time European Championship in the semi-final also, where Tatsunashvili, he won the fight. Tatsunashvili knows how to win. He puts himself in a position to win at all times. But right now, one minute, 15 seconds to go in this gold medal final. Again, like a, a possum, he fell to his chest. He swung his arm, he swum out, and was able to just give a position to get a two-point takedown. Six to one for Zarabi Datunashvili. Exactly. The Sultanov, he presses so hard, and then at the end, he just turns around and uses the force, and then on top and get two points. A very good move. Momentum can be important for either wrestler, and right there you saw the offensive wrestler kind of hopped into a position where he thought he was going to score. And Datunishvili uh, able to swing his hips yeah. and come out for two. So six to one as we are in the final portion of this bout. 30 seconds to go. A six to one lead for Zurabi Datunishvili. Hometown hero right here in Belgrade, Serbia. One point on the step out as Bisotanov. It's one more point on the board, a six to two lead. Datunashvili has a four and a two. Bisotanov two ones. So he's gonna need some big points here in the last 10 seconds. It would be a four point throw, but with two seconds left. And the flags are flying, the arms are up in the stands, people are cheering. At this very partisan crowd in Belgrade, Serbia, we have a gold medalist, and he is Zurabi Datunashvili from Serbia. Once again, on the top of the podium, his second time in the last two years, your world gold medalist. Yeah, what a great match from Datunashvili. Good game plan and everything, and the young guy, Bisutanov, tried the best, 